In this video, we're going to look at how we can graph quadratic functions. A quadratic function is a function of the form f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where we've got something times x squared plus something times x plus something. And just like when we can recognize the equation of a line as y equals mx plus b, it'll always be a line, with quadratics, Whenever we see that x squared as the highest exponent, we're going to end up with this type of a shape. It looks like a u. We call it a parabola. Now, there's a couple key points on the parabola that can help us graph it without having to consider all the possible results. And one important result that we need to consider is this point at the very bottom of the graph, where it kind of changes direction, the lip of the u. We call that the vertex. And the vertex is an x, comma, y, an x, y point, where we have to calculate both x and y. Now, x is equal to the opposite of b over 2a. It's the center of the parabola, so it's the center of the quadratic formula. Without doing the plus or minus square root, the plus or minus square root sends you off to the left and right sides. Without that, you've just got negative b over 2a, the vertex point. Now, we still have to find y. y is equal to whatever f of x is. In other words, we take whatever we found for our x and plug it into the function, and that's going to tell us what the y value is. That's the first key point. The second key point is where the graph crosses the y-axis. We call this the y-intercept. Notice the y-intercept is straight down from the origin, no left or right motion. That's because at the y-intercept, x is equal to 0. So if x is equal to 0, if we look at the equation at the top, ax squared, if x is 0, that whole thing is 0. The bx, that whole thing is 0. All that's left is the c. The y-intercept is always whatever c is that is added to the end of the quadratic expression. Similar to the y-intercept, we also have these two guys. We call them the x-intercepts, where they cross the x-axis. Now, the x-intercept, that's where there's no vertical change where the y is equal to 0, or the entire expression equals 0. The ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And we're really good at solving problems like this, because we can either factor, we can use the quadratic formula, we can complete the square. We have several options to find the x-intercept. One final thing I like to find is the direction. Parabolas can open up two different directions, at least the ones we're looking at. A parabola can either open vertically, like the picture I've got to the left, but it also can open upside down the other direction. And the way we tell which direction the graph is going, we look at the a, whatever's in front of x squared. And if the a is positive, bigger than 0, we end up with this positive, upward-going parabola. You might think about it as a happy parabola. He's very positive. Whereas if the a is negative, or the a is less than 0, we end up with a sad-faced parabola, and he's going to be going downward. So let's see if we can identify these four characteristics about a couple graphs, and then draw the picture of solutions. First, let's find the vertex of x squared minus 2x minus 3. For the vertex, we have to find x and y, where x is equal to the opposite of b over 2a. Remember from the quadratic formula, a, b, and c are the numbers in front of the coefficients of x squared and x and the constant. The opposite of b is 2 over 2 times a, which is 1, gives us 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. That's the x-coordinate. 
the y coordinate says we're going to plug that one into the function. So now it's one squared minus two times one minus three. So y is equal to one minus two minus three or y is equal to negative four. The vertex as a point x comma y for this function is one negative four. Let's go ahead and put that on our graph. Write one down four. Now let's identify the y intercept. The y intercept you remember is simply the number at the end, the c, so the y intercept is negative three. So we'll go to negative three on our graph and plot our next point. We also want to find the x intercept, which we find by making the equation equal zero, or the expression equal zero. x squared minus two x minus three. Solve it by either the quadratic formula, completing the square, or this one's really easy to factor. Zero equals x minus three times x plus one. Set each factor equal to zero, x minus three equals zero, x plus one equals zero. Add three to both sides to get our first x-intercept at three. Subtract one from both sides to get our second x-intercept at negative one. So the first one's at three, the next one's at negative one. Only thing left to check is the direction. And because the a squared is, or the a is positive, we know it's going to open up as a positive happy parabola. And sure enough, when we connect these dots on this graph, we do end up with that positive shape of our parabola. Let's try and graph one more. With the second example, finding the vertex first, we have to find x, which is the opposite of b, negative twelve over two a, two times negative three. That's negative twelve over negative six, which is a positive two. So we'll plug two in for our variable. Say y is equal to negative three times two squared plus twelve times two minus nine. Two squared is four, four times negative three is negative twelve, plus twelve times two is twenty-four minus nine, and negative twelve plus twenty-four minus nine is three, and so we have a vertex point at two, comma three. Really tiny on my graph, two comma three is right there. The y-intercept, going back to the original problem, is negative nine. So negative nine, real small on my graph again. The x-intercept, we make the equation equal zero. Zero equals negative three x squared plus twelve x minus nine. You might notice there's a common factor of negative three, giving us x squared minus four x plus three, which is negative three times x minus three times x minus one. And we can set each factor equal to zero. We don't need the negative three out front because there's no variable there. Add three to both sides and x equals three. Add one to both sides and x equals one. We've got our vertex. It's really skinny on here, but at one and three. And finally, we know the direction of this graph. Because the a is negative, it's going to be a sad graph. It's going to be going down, and sure enough, we see that shape looking at our parabola connecting the dots. So graphing quadratics, a lot of review content, bringing it together in one problem. The vertex, x is equal to the opposite of b over two a. We find y by plugging it in. Then the y-intercept is the c. The x-intercept we find by solving the quadratic equal to zero. The direction's a good check to make sure you're on the right track. And you can quickly graph any parabola.